First of all, this is not a mouse for everyone. Average PC users might probably be better off with more affordable standard mouse, but anyone who spends a lot of time using mouse should consider trackball. Instead of moving entire mouse, putting strain on your wrist and developing carpal tunnel, trackball mouse lets you use your thumb only to move cursor across the screen. This is great for any application where a lot of fast and repetitive movement are made, primarily any type of CAD design, Photoshop, video editing and similar. I am a long time user of the previous M570 model and wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, as I find it to be one of the most ergonomic mice on the market. Just the very fact it survived in its original unchanged form for almost 8 years testifies it was a success. So what does the new model bring? First and most obvious feature is the ability to tilt the mouse by 20 degrees if you find that position more relaxed. I do and I used it mostly tilted to the right as my hand rests in a more natural position. At the bottom there is a massive metal plate which is held to the mouse by magnets. Magnets are very strong and there is no way mouse will move out of selected position by mistake. In terms of size, MX Ergo is similarly wide and long as the old model, but is taller and has more volume. In real life it feels substantially bigger and more massive, especially due to increased weight. All users with larger than normal palms will appreciate that. While M570 is just around 140 grams, new MX Ergo is 260. Top side of the mouse is covered by some sort of non-slippery rubbery material and feels like a premium product compared to the old model which is all plastic. There are more controls compared to the old model. M570 had left and right click, clickable scroll wheel and two programmable buttons on the side. New MX Ergo keeps all that and adds left and right movement on the scroll wheel. There is a special button just beside the trackball. When pressed it slows down cursor speed considerably. This is great stuff when you need to make very precise selection on the screen. Press it again and it moves at standard speed as before. Button on the top of the mouse controls communication channel. This can be customized via Logitech software. For example, number 1 is connection with standard USB receiver delivered with the mouse. Channel number 2 can be Bluetooth connection so you can pair it directly to your laptop. You can switch between them on the fly and use mouse on both computers. When talking about USB receiver I noticed a rather strange omission. While the old model had a special slot inside battery compartment used to store the receiver during transport, new MX Ergo has no such thing. How in the world am I supposed to carry a receiver around and not lose it? As for the trackball itself, you should pop it out every few days and clean the three tiny balls inside. In my experience they tend to gather dust very fast, in which case the ball cannot glide effortlessly. And if you wonder, the ball is identical in size as the one in old model. You can swap them if you prefer the blue one. Actually, I think it would be cool for some company to offer replacement balls with custom paint job. Imagine having your company logo or your favorite anime character on the ball. If you have both mice and suffer a really stressful day at work, two balls can be used as Chinese Bao Ding balls to relieve stress. Compared to previous M570 which uses single AA battery, new MX Ergo has a built-in lithium-ion rechargeable battery. At the top of the mouse you can see micro USB used for charging. According to Logitech, single charge should last around 4 months of use, what is more than enough in my opinion. I suggest downloading the free Logitech software which allows for detailed setup and customization of this mouse. You can link certain buttons to certain controls in various programs, customize trackball speed and so on. For conclusion, I think Logitech has another top level product. Except the lack of storage space for USB receiver, there is absolutely nothing to complain about. Personally, I wouldn't upgrade my old M570 which still works perfectly, but if I had to, I wouldn't hesitate to buy the new MX Ergo. 
that's all for this review. If you have a question, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for updates and if you want to support my work, buy stuff on Amazon using my affiliate links below the video. You will not pay any more than otherwise, but I will get a small percentage from every purchase. Thanks for watching.